This is the heaviest man that ever lived. And now one of the best competitive eaters in the world is attempting to eat his full diet. And the effects on his body are not good. I survived the world's heaviest man's daily diet. Surviving? That sounds like a bad diet. How heavy is world's heaviest man? This is what the world's heaviest man eats for breakfast. <laughs> I thought he was going to say in a day. I didn't know what I was expecting. I was not expecting breakfast. To start off his day, Walter Hudson ate 12 eggs, a pound of bacon, 32 sausages, an entire loaf of bread with grape jelly, and a pot of coffee. Can you call this a diet? It isn't even a diet. Yeah, it's just eating everything you see. I'm giving myself until midnight tonight to finish not just this breakfast, but everything else on Walter's meal plan which as I'm sure you can imagine is pretty gigantic. What? 1,400 pounds, 636 kilograms. Could he even walk? Like, no. No, no. no. Your bones are not made for this. How can you even survive like this? How old did he get? Walter Hudson was born in 1944. He became 47 years old, which is older than I thought he would become. He is 76.8 kilograms. Pretty gigantic. Just like I'm gonna be by the end of this challenge. Having so much food in your belly. Of course, he's like, does he become world's heaviest man in a day? I wanna know how much weight he gains. To kick off meal one, I poured an entire pot of coffee. There's no sugar or milk in the coffee, so that's pretty healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. Healthy Love coffee. Healthy breakfast. <laughs> Even though this bread was a little extra toasty, everything was tasting amazing. After working my way through most of the bread and some eggs, this challenge was off to a great start. I would not finish this. I know how this guy finishes meals, but this guy is known for finishing every single challenge. He rarely fails. Yeah, he's one of the best competitive eaters in the world. Looks like it's a quarter to one. Why does he start so late? That makes this challenge so much harder. He's already at 4,000 calories. After using pretty much half the jar of grape oh, jelly. I was already wondering, where's the sugar? That was a lot of jelly. There's not a lot of sugars in this meal. It's actually very high protein. Besides the jar of jelly. <laughs> okay. I would have expected way more cakes or burgers or fries right from the beginning. Maybe Coke in the beginning as well. But um, cool. we'll see. Nothing rings my bells like a toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter must be so hard to get down as well. Yeah. Uh, just... Well, that's why it's a jug of coffee. The fact that this guy is still able to enjoy the food he's eating is a miracle. Cool. Maybe he's literally like starving himself before a challenge like this. So he's very, very hungry. He doesn't eat for a week. After making quick work of it, the only thing left was one slice of bread. Last piece of bread. Whew. That was a lot of coffee. 8,690 calories for breakfast. How long did it take him to finish his meal though? Yeah, I think it took him like 30 minutes or something. Yes. I started with the Reese's Fast Break. These edits, <laughs> what the fuck are these edits? This video has 23 million views. We should do those edits. That's a great video so far. I took down the Fast Break bar along with the Hershey's Cookies and Cream bar. Reese's Big Cup with what? Reese's Puffs. A few minutes later, all the what? candy bars were down. The amount of calories in this. First snack was complete. Next up, lunch. Everyone, so far this challenge is going fantastic. The only thing I'm starting to worry about is the fact that I haven't used the bathroom today. And then it hit me. I needed to find a bathroom ASAP. This might help with the challenge though. Give a bit more space. Walter's lunch beverage There's was soda. a large bottle of soda. It's almost 5 p.m. right now. I'm having a what? bit of a late lunch, but we gotta get the show on the road. I don't understand this timeline. It was literally 1.30 p.m. Then he went to the toilet and now it's five, but they said it was one hour later. And why does he have different clothing? Ooh. It could be a different day. This is so hard to believe that someone could eat this. I have to just have my question marks. I trust this guy, I believe this guy. Walter ate two large sandwiches for lunch. So I ordered the Subway Philly sandwich. A pile of fries? Some sugar-free ketchup. Ketchup, sugar-free ketchup, sugar-free ketchup. Even though I was starting to get full, I still had an entire Subway sandwich to eat after this. Oh, he's finishing that Coke bottle real fast. These guys, competitive eaters, they can just keep drinking and they actually use it to get the food down. Coke is probably way harder than water. Making the food wet, getting it down, is better than not getting it wet at all. It has to be wet. It has to be wet. Do you like your food wet? The wetter the better. Wow, so many vegetables. Why the f do they put this many vegetables on there? Vegetables fill you up. It's a great way if you're on a diet to get more food in your stomach without too many calories. Yeah, so that's why he's a bit upset about vegetables. And Subway is, in my opinion, way healthier than a McDonald's burger. Maybe only the sauce is a bit high in calories, but the rest of it is pretty decent, I think. I would have just expected crazier foods. But unfortunately, all this bread was really starting to hit me. Well, I got down all the fries, the subs. Fortunately, I still have this Coca-Cola left over, which I'm gonna use in my next food adventure. So yeah, I'm gonna hold off on the rest of this Coke for now. Because I didn't finish the Coke, lunch was a fail. Because he didn't finish the Coke. The easiest thing you would say. I honestly cannot understand how you don't stroke out from all the sodium. Yeah, truly impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is very impressive, but it's also like, 
You don't want to do this. At this point, I had taken down just over 15,000 calories, and I hadn't even gotten to the hardest part of this challenge yet. Oh, Mew 5 is the hardest. Uh... I'm not doing very well. My stomach feels like a black hole full of french fries, bread, and a lot of regret right now. All I got to say is that volume-wise, the final meal is going to be the biggest meal in this entire challenge. What? The last challenge was a complete fail. And the last thing I want to do is fail two challenges in a row. So the first meal had the highest calorie amount, but then it has the most amount of food. We'll see. And he needs to eat more. I'm actually pretty excited to try two of these because I've never had them before. Smart. Make it exciting. He's finishing the coke. Okay, okay. Let's take a moment. Oh my goodness, Ooh. look at that action. Look at that caramel action. <sighs> That's another 16, 1700 calories. Ugh. How do you get so much coke? Let's calculate how many calories he would need to just maintain his weight. What was his height? Ooh. What? Ooh. That is not very tall. Probably very sedentary. He didn't move a lot. The thing is these calorie calculators are not made for this insane amount of weight because the result we're getting is 7,599 calories. I think it would need at least 15,000 calories. My knowledge about 500 kilogram plus people is very little. Now it was time for dinner. Time the for dinner. The biggest meal of this entire challenge. What is dinner? And not a bowl of coke? Exercise. I thought you meant extra pie. Stop. Walter's dinner beverage was a bottle of soda. He also ate four or five ham steaks for dinner. What? Just, just like that? No bread this time? Eating almost two pounds of protein this late into a challenge? I was seriously doubting I'd be able to So this much protein. But protein fills you up, so this is hard to eat. But this guy really liked his protein. Yeah. This is also lean meat, so it's, I think, was, yeah. Thankfully, decent. I was able to get the last ham steak down, but I was getting very full. I'm not gonna lie, those ham steaks were a solid one out of 10. Solid one out of 10. Next up, a half dozen cobs of corn. Like, if you're gonna cheat, then cheat in a good way, sort of. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't I know. Like, I don't know, but like, again, I would have just expected so much cake and, yes. and, and entire birthday cake. But he grabbed a bottle of Coke. And now he has Pepsi. And he has a different shirt again. This is so hard to believe that someone could eat this. I trust this guy. I believe this guy is doing the entire challenge. I think he can pull it off. But he makes it also a bit harder to believe because he has different shirts the entire time. And uh, he grabbed Coke, but has Pepsi now. For dinner, Walter had a half dozen potatoes. While I was in the store, I was wondering what I could eat these potatoes with. And I saw Smart Balance. Straight up butter. Okay, this explains it a lot more. Damn, that's nasty. Like, it's probably good, decent, but it's so, so high, so high calorie, this. Damn, that's so much butter as well. Ah! I hate butter. I hate butter like that. I don't get this diet. I think this is a very interesting diet. It's a very weird diet. Yes. I'm gonna... Oh, he's really struggling right now. Is he gonna make it? Okay, so in my head, I was actually just thinking the entire time he's gonna make it and we're just gonna see the ending. But now I'm starting to doubt if he's actually going he, to make it. Yeah. What? His belly is like sticking out like crazy. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish this potato and this pie right now. It's currently 916. He still has so much time left. Uh, he has a lot of time, yeah. But I mean, there's more food. So I'm going to chill out and actually do something that I feel like I should do. Walk. I see you guys on my mountainous stomach. Oh, this is embarrassing. Let's weigh in. My pre-challenge weight was 169.2 pounds. My current weight, 184.7 pounds. A gain of over 15 pounds. What the hell? He gained so much. He waited two hours. I came back to finish the fight. I had less than a half an hour to get down this massive serving of apple pie, the rest of the soda, and the last potato. Like usual, I look 27 Ooh. months pregnant. I should be on the next cover of GQ. At this point, I felt like my stomach had detached from my body, but the finish line was in sight. I feel like I'm about to give birth to a baby made of Subway sandwiches and toast. The bread is killing him. The carbs so, killing him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We've done it. I've successfully eaten like the world's heaviest man for one day. Total calories, 22,805 calories. That's more than I eat in an entire week. I, I don't know what to say. This is impressive and disgusting at disgusting. the same time. I can't wrap my mind around how he pulled this off. I would have died after breakfast alone. I feel like I'm just so confused how a human is capable of doing this. Yes, yeah, so especially like his body. He's not a very big man. No, he's, he's, he's the same species as we are, but he also kind of is not. This guy eats so many calories, but if you want to know how many calories you actually need in a day, then make sure to check out our calorie calculator in our app. So this is what it takes to become world's heaviest man. Except for this boy in the previous video who just kept eating everything he wants, insane amount of calories, but he just couldn't gain weight. If you want to see why, make sure to check out this episode. Subscribe to this link and hit that bell. Oh, and download the app, it's free.